Hi students, welcome back. Now coming to the forward training in artificial intelligence. In the previous video, I explained about the back. Sorry, coming to the backward training in the artificial intelligence. In the previous video, I explained about the forward training. Now let's see the backward training. It's exactly the same whatever you are doing in the forward training, but it is in reverse direction. That means in the forward, you are taking the initial and you will reach the goal state. But here in the backward, with the help of the goal state, you are going to reach the initial state. So that is the main difference there, forward and the backward. A backward chaining algorithm is a form of reasoning. So the backward chaining is also called as the backward reasoning. So it is a form of reasoning which starts with the goal. So it is starts with the goal and works backward. Chaining through rules to find known facts supports the goal. So we have to chaining whatever the rules that are there to find the known facts which supports the goal. That is our aim in the backward chaining. Now let's see the properties of the backward chaining. This is also known as the top down approach. Whereas the forward is the bottom up, up bottom up approach where but uh, bottom top approach uh, and uh, whereas uh, backward chaining is the top down approach a backward chaining is uh, based on the modest bonus inference rules in backward chaining the goal is broken into sub goals so first whatever the goal that we are reached so with the help of the goal we are reaching to the initial state so the goal is broken into sub goals or sub goals to prove the facts true so it is also called as goal driven approach whereas the backward chaining is the data driven approach because with the help of the data we are reaching the goal but in the backward chaining with the help of the goal we are reaching to the data so that's why it is a goal driven approach as a list of goals decide which rules are selected or used the backward chaining algorithm is used in a game theory so it is used in game theory automatic theory proving tools inference engines proof assistance and various application uh, artificial intelligent applications so the backward chaining is used in these uh, different uh, concepts game theory various artificial intelligent applications proof assistance inference engines the backward chaining method mostly used a depth first search strategy for the proof so this is the theory part of the backward uh, chaining now let's see the example so just like a uh, the forward chaining the backward chaining example let's see so i'm say, taking the same example what is the same example the goal state is a z and the termination condition is i have to stop uh whenever i reach the uh, means that means uh, the thing here is a goal state z and some facts are the day so with the help of the goal state i'm starting the chaining process the backward chaining example Okay, so now let's see. So what are the facts? The facts, initially the facts the database contains, they are given as A, E, B, C. Okay, so now the rules, the rules that are implemented here is uh, F and B implies Z. The same example I'm taking, C and D implies F and A implies D. So the, here this is a backward process. The backward process here I'm taking I want Z, okay, because the goal is Z, the goal state is, goal state is Z, I want Z, where is the Z, so from the facts, there is, in the facts there is no Z, but in the rules the Z is there, I am processing in the backward direction, so see the difference, how in the forward I take in, whatever they are matching in the rules, I am taking that element and that uh, that elements matching, which implies the element, the remaining element I am placing in the facts, that is in the forward chaining. But in the backward chaining, what I am here doing here is, I want Z, where is Z I am checking. Okay, I want Z, because Z is my goal state, I want Z. So, Z is present in this rule. So, now I have to get F and get b get f and get b so next get f and b so next whenever i say get f and b first i'm getting the i i want f f and b implies z c and d implies f a and d a implies D. So now this time I want F. I want F. 
okay so a e so whenever i want f means uh, what are the elements that are placed here c and d is there okay but c and d is not present only c is present in the fact the c is matching here okay so get c get d so c is already matching here okay c is here previously b is matching so whenever the b is matching i'm just next time i'm just taking i want f okay so whatever the uh, elements that are present f is get c and get d so c is already present here so next i want which element i need to get i want d this time i want d f and b because c is already is there in the facts c and d implies f a determine implies d so a e b c okay so i am asking i want d so where is d here d is present here i want d so a so a is already in facts that is get a is already in the facts so this is one condition it's over now i started the execution because i i get the elements of f b e i i get all the means from top to bottom i reached every element first the top it's a top down approach okay f and b i executed next c and d i checked next a and d i checked now i want to execute so take this element and start execute means you have to place that in facts in the facts you needs to be placed so what element you have to place the d has to be placed a e b c d okay so now follow the same process whatever you are done in this forward f a implies d okay so d and c so already c and d is here is there means i want to execute now f what is the c and d combination so these are matching the cd is matching to this rule so i need to execute f execute the facts so f i need to be execute here a e b c d f okay so f contains uh, f i executed now check which rule is matching f and b is matching okay because f and b is matching with the rule so this time f and b implies z a implies d or c and d implies f so f and b is execute z so now the rules contains a e b c d f z so which is my goal state so this is a process of doing the backward chaining okay so just like uh, the forward chaining the thing here is whatever the element that you want to get with the help of the goal uh, i want the z element with the help of the goal i'm just checking f and b get f and b so b is already there i don't have the f so next time i'm requesting f i want f where is the f in the right hand side so this here so next get c and d so c is already present d is not present here so i'm asking i want d so whenever the d is present so all the elements here uh, means i checked so now i i want to execute d so execute the d on the facts and process will be going like this thank you